How's it going everyone? Today I'm here to talk about uh, the Destiny DLC that came out earlier this week, The Dark Below. This game, uh, this gameplay is not at all impressive. I don't even know if I go positive, it might have been the closest I got to positive. Um, I did not even notice that there was a guy talking. Let me mute this so I can commentate over it. At least turn it down. Um, sorry about the guy talking. Um, I did something that I don't normally do this game. I sniped. Um, I have patience and time. The exotic. And, uh, I just, I've only had that for, like, a couple weeks. Um, we've been using it most of the PvE. I'm not a sniping person in any game by any means, but, uh, this map is super gigantic. And, uh, just overall bad. And that's what I've been trying to, uh, or, what's the point I'm trying to get across about this, uh, Dark Below DLC? I'm very disappointed in this, uh, in the Dark Below. I don't think it's a $20 product. Um, if you have the expansion pass, I don't even know if it's worth $17.50 that you paid for it. Uh, when you do all the math, 35 divided by 2, um, not that hard, but, um, I'm just disappointed, the story was not inclusive, very, it was extremely short, and I only really had a challenge at one part, and that was in the very first mission, um, I kept dying to the boss's minions, and I, I actually, in the video, cut out, like, three or four different attempts, I had died, like, five times in that mission, and didn't die a single time in the rest of the story missions, I don't believe, and if I did, it was only once or twice. And, uh, that was on the low difficulty, but still. I just don't feel like Heavy the story was bound. worth it. The raid's just way too hard. Like, it's not playable at this point. I'm only level 28. I played part of it. I got a little a piece available. of armor, and I had to level up. But, um... Uh, I just feel like the raid's too hard. The story's not very good. The Crucible maps are yeah, awful. Yeah. The strikes are not that great, and... One is I couldn't even get past the first part. I was playing with two level 30s. I couldn't get past the first part of it. So uh, this map, these maps have definitely like been bad. I haven't even played on one of them to be completely honest. Um, Pantheon's good. Um, that's a good map, but it's the only thing that I found out of here that's memorable. Like this map is memorable because it's awful, and it ha I has to completely change your style of play. Someone's always in both of the buildings too. It is the best option of yours to play way out in the open. And you're going to need a lot of long-range weapons. Um, I was finding, even in this game, Auto Rifle does not work very well in this map. Um, and the setup I've been using since then is Scout Sniper. And uh, it's basically the one you have to. And uh, if you play in the playlist for this map, like, or this DLC, you're basically getting this map, like, four times in a row. It's like Venus in the regular playlist. You get this map, like, five times. Then you'll get, like... Pantheon once, then you get this map like five more times. I haven't even played the other map. I don't even know what it is, to be completely honest, because I haven't played it yet. And it's just, overall, this is not a $20 product. Uh, just like the game, it's probably not a $60 game. Um, it's, it's not, the game's close in value to $60. I don't think it's a $60 game. I didn't buy it for $60. I gameplayed it, and then I bought it for $40, like a month later, when it went down. I think it's a $40 game. I don't think it's a $60 game. This DLC, I don't even know if it's $15 DLC. It might be $10 DLC. I, I'll give it its $10 DLC. I don't know if it's Call of Duty DLC even. Um, I think Call of Duty never added story missions or anything. But at least they gave you a zombies map or something like that was going to be enjoyable for a long period of time. I don't know if I'm ever going to do that strike ever again. Like, to be completely honest with you, that strike was not very fun, not very enjoyable. The boss was really stupid. Um, this, even, like, your supers are not gonna do very well in this map. Like, I got one kill with this Blade Dancer. Heavy and, uh, that's the probably the most common of the supers, I think, besides the, uh, um, Gold Gun. Because, like, Heavy over, I'd say over 50% of fucking Destiny players are hunters, I swear. Um, I've been leveling up others, too, but it's a slow process to level up. I forgot the grind from level 0 to 20. Uh, level 1 to 20, I guess. There's no level 0 in this game. It is quite the grind. Um, so, overall, I'm incredibly disappointed in the Dark Below expansion pack. Um, I don't think it's a $20 product. Um, I've said that about seven times, but I just need to reiterate the point. This map is... Uh, it's not Destiny-worthy. Um, Destiny's maps kind of set you up to expect a lot of... I don't know what I was thinking right there, either. Um, Destiny's maps kind of set you up to expect a lot of CQC and then, like, long-range battles and not a lot, a whole lot in the middle. And, uh, this map kind of takes away the CQC unless you're in a building and then you're absolutely fucked because you don't have a CQC weapon anymore because you're preparing for long-range. Because 
this like map pretty much dictates that you snipe or use a scout rifle or I can't snipe so I'm just gonna suck at sniping um, as I'm almost out of ammo um, and you'd see that by this video um, this gameplay I'm bad at sniping human players that move um, <laughs> Like the the stuff in the story and the raid, you know, I can snipe fine because it stands pretty much absolutely still and doesn't move um, most of the time. And if it does, it's within a controllable distance. Humans like have super agility. Some of them. Um, this guy's gonna fuck me up too. I'm pretty sure. Oh, no, never mind. I thought he was going to. But he got fucked up before. I could fuck him up. Um, I got a couple lucky kills here um, in this game. I was really bored playing this, like, to be completely honest. Like, this map is not, like, even fun to play. Like, there's some maps that are gigantic but fun to play. Um, I'll admit that. There's plenty of, like, times in Call of Duty where I've, like, maps, like, that were just absolutely gigantic. Like, um, Summon. Like, that map was big as hell. Like, but it was a fun map to play on. Um, you know, any Modern Warfare 2 map was pretty much gi A lot of maps were gigantic in that game. A lot of gigantic and small, not a whole lot in between again. Um, so, uh, yeah, so far I'm not impressed. This map specifically irritates me. Heavy ammo um, available. I, um, I want to try something new after I record this commentary when I do uh, my play session today to get some gameplays or whatever um, of the new DLC. Um, and I'm going to play on, um, I'm going to play on Rumble. There's two playlists for this new. If you haven't gotten the DLC yet, one, I wouldn't do it. Two, um, if you're going to anyway. Uh, don't, this is Clash, don't play on the Clash playlist, you're gonna get this map like five times in a row, and it's gonna piss you off, and uh, you're never gonna play on Pantheon, which is the Mars map, which is actually somewhat enjoyable, but it doesn't detract from the whole, the product, the whole being shitty. I don't think, as a map itself, it's that great of a map in the game, it might be better than like, the PS exclusive map, uh, Exodus Blue, that map is fucking awful, or either of the vehicle maps, I just, there's no like, no vehicle maps, because this is a vehicle map too. No vehicle maps impress me. I'm gonna try and play on Rumble, um, even though I'm not a super great uh, free for all person. I don't know what, how he didn't die there. That was a little bullshit, but I thought anyway. Um, yeah, the Rumble's the free for all mode in this game, um, and I don't uh, at least hope this uh, map's not on it because one, it's way too big for any. Uh, free for all game mode, I think. Um, on top of that, um, you don't like this map's not fun. I just I don't know what other way to say it. Like I don't enjoy this map. It's way too Halo-y. Like it's just big and it requires sniping. And uh, like I loved Halo. It was a fun game, but it's not a game that I still play. And there's a very good reason for that because after a while, like it's not fun anymore. It's only got so long where you enjoy the map. This map's not even, like, enjoyable, because the way they made the guns in this game just makes it, like, makes it impossible to play, like, uh, like, the way you want it to if you're, Heavy like, more way. of a rusher. And I, like, I don't like camping very much. Hey, Bobby, can we get fucking sick of all like sick, sick, you goddamn idiots? Idiot. Yelled in my ear. Um, I just had to listen to the guy on playback. Uh, this is funny, I just thought. Um, so I get... I one it's really bad, lagging bad. I get the guy in the turret, and then there's a guy right behind here who gets in and just I wasn't even I didn't even have time to react, like to try and like go invisible or anything. That guy was just immediately in the turret um, after I got the guy in the turret before. That was really funny. Um, so we're well on our way to a loss and just uh, not a game this game. I I really didn't put a whole lot of thought into what gameplay I was going to use. I only had two. And one, I went five and ten, so I figured, all right, this one's a little bit better to use unless I go four and ten. And I checked it; I didn't go four and ten. Um, I died a whole lot, though, like just kind of doing stupid things. Like there, I probably should have like went invisible when I was scouting out, which I normally do. But uh, I don't know. Um, guess I can try and commentate the rest of this normally. So running up with patience and time, our sniper rifle, and. Uh, we're gonna go down here, look for someone to snipe. There doesn't look like there's a whole lot of people to snipe, especially since this is our side of the map right now. Although this guy seems to be firing away. I don't know where any of the people are. They look to be out in the open, possibly. That guy just died. Um, so he's not a target anymore for us. Um, yeah, it's really... See, it's just, like, I can't even commentate this regularly. 
Like, it's just awful. Alright, I don't know what I was thinking here. Why I stood still. Why I didn't even shoot that guy was another question. He even shot again after I was already dead. Um, and again, I don't know if it was the lag in this game specifically, or just like, the map being bad, but I just did not, um, I just found there were a lot of like, really weird deaths, and things that I did differently than I normally would. That might be with the fact that it's a new map too. I might come back in a week, um, for like a oh, live card session with my oh, friends. I completely enjoy this map. It's hard to talk over this guy. Hard to talk over that guy. It's blaring in my ears. Um, and I'm trying to listen to the game too, so I know like, I like the sounds of this game. It's one of the few games that I can Heavy stand listening available. to that's not like a single player game. Like, I, I toward the end of the Call of Duty series, um, Ghosts and Black Ops 2 um, have hated the sound of um, the game itself. Specifically Black Ops 2, everything was loud. Um, and Modern Warfare 3, I didn't like Modern Warfare 3 sounds either. I didn't like anything about Modern Warfare 3 besides the fact that it be completely seconds honest. And I don't know why, that was a really dumb decision on my part and I was lucky I got the melee kill. Um, I don't know why I was equipped with a sniper rifle when I saw a guy coming up from, well, like, I don't know why I did this. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why I just watched that guy fire a rocket at me either and did absolutely nothing. Rockets have, like, the biggest blast radius in this game. You can have a really shitty blast radius and it will still... Um, hit you from halfway across the map. Um, so that's the end of the game, thank god. Um, I'm doing the dead orbit stuff right now. I didn't even see this guy on the radar, he just fucked me up from behind. And I think I ended up going negative because of it. I was trying to keep score as the match was going, and I was 10 and 10. And I believe, unless I counted wrong, I ended up 10 and 11 because of that guy at the end. Yeah, 10 and 11. So that's the end of the game. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think about the dark below. Peace.